This is Twit. Hello, Richard in La Puenta. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Oh, I got to turn nice this to talk button. To you. Nice to talk to you. Thanks for calling. First of all, thank you very much for all that you do in trying to keep the old user group, computer user group, uh, alive. I have a, I have very fond, of course, I'm an old timer too, very fond memories of computer user groups in the earliest days of technology. That's, you know, the only way you could figure out how to use things and do things. Apple was introduced at the... Um, at the uh, Homebrew Home Computer Club. Club, yeah, in San Jose, yeah. and I used to go to the Berkeley Macintosh Users Group, B Mug, and oh, B Mug, oh, yeah, wonderful. it was fun. You'd have these yeah. monthly meetings, be a hundred people there. Uh, they'd talk about stuff. You'd have speakers. You'd have a Q and A session. It's kind of yeah. I think of this as a user group on the radio. And that's that's why I'm thanking you for that. Because well, you're welcome. That's where I would go to get the answers to the problems. Yeah, yeah, you'd stand oh, up. It'd say, it's question time. You'd stand up and say, I, my IRQ, uh, I got a problem with my IRQs. My printer won't talk when my modem's on. And then people would help yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. That was great time. <laughs> those were, those were the days. <laughs> so I have two, two questions, but the most important one is the one for my friend that uh, is a dear friend. And she's had a business that she's been uh, trying to uh, build up over the last 10 years. And it's a decorating business. She uses Instagram to show her uh, items that she does. And she's been struggling for 10 years. And then in the last two months, she had a, a video, a, a reel, that she had go viral. She had about 500,000 views. Holy cow, she that's fantastic. Finally, yeah, it was great. She finally gained up to 13,000 followers wonderful so it, it was and in doing this she's been getting more attention I yeah think. that's the downside of the, the internet of the hackers yeah yeah so she has normally over the last 10 years with instagram been getting people to come and, and ask about her business and and uh, request information and they would send her links to their own Instagram photos that of how they might want their wedding or their birthday party. Oh, nice. So this January 11th at 7.18 in the morning, she had a link from somebody that she had a conversation with the month before and she clicked on it and instantly lost access to her account. Oh, they then went on and changed the password and changed the, email address. Oh my God, how frustrating. She she got and played. She got played and that was terribly devastating for her. Yeah. She spent 10 years climbing this mountain to get to where she finally started getting some users. And well, I you know, I don't want to be a finger-wagging nanny, so I won't, but this is a cautionary tale for anybody who's building a business on a social platform, take every effort, you know, to, to protect it, including if she had used two-factor authentication, for instance, she probably wouldn't have she lost it. She didn't even know about it. She didn't even know it existed, and yeah. Didn't know it existed. It's, it's like opening a store downtown and forgetting to lock the door, you know. It, we all understand door locks, but we don't understand security in the Internet yet. And, uh, and oh, I'm so sorry that happened. She should be able to call Instagram... A call. There's nobody at the phone, but she should be able to yeah. contact Instagram and recover it. My concern is, how did she? Who do you contact? Well, uh, there. If you <laughs> if you uh, look in Instagram, you might have to help her. I don't know if she's completely lost access to uh, Instagram. But if you yeah, if you if you actually you could Google Instagram recover account, and it would give you the it would give you the stuff you need to know. Um, it happens. It happens on Facebook. It happens on Instagram. It happens quite a bit. Please turn on two-factor. My other concern, the Instagram Help Center is at help.instagram.com. And there's even a one. I think my Instagram account has been hacked. Uh -huh. So she can go through that process. One of the things that's important is that she associates her phone number with it. 
uh, so that they can send her an authentication code. I'm sure the bad guys, once they got access to the account, changed all that. But Instagram has her previous phone number, so you know her, yes. and so they can they can then send her a link to verify that she owned it. And they go, yeah, yeah, it was stolen. Here it is. Make sure you get her to turn on two factor. I'm a little well, concerned. She's on everything else right now. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's ne you learn, don't you? You learn. Yeah, yeah. You learn. Yeah. Hard Instagram, lesson. you know, my wife says her Instagram was hacked too. Somebody turned on two factor without her knowledge. I think Instagram security maybe lacks. I'm I'm a little. I have a big question mark over my head, if you can imagine that, uh, mm -hmm. over how just clicking a link gave them access to her Instagram. That was it on a phone. Yes. On an iPhone or, or Android. It, it was on an iPhone 13. So I'm really con I'm really confused about how you shouldn't be able to do that on an iPhone. Um, so I'm, I, her story may has not have holes, but there may be more to it than we than meets the eye. It sh you sh a sync simply clicking a link. Well, you shouldn't do that. You got to be careful. Uh, but that should not, with just that action, relinquish your Instagram account. There's more to that story somewhere. So you might ask her about that. Yeah, that's a little. I mean, there shouldn't. It shouldn't be possible to click a link and lose your. Um... It's bizarre to me as well. Yeah, I was there I mean, when there... she actually clicked on it, and it. Just... Oh, oh, you saw it happen. Yeah, she sh it shut her out of her Instagram account, and then she started getting notifications, email notifications that the uh, password changed, that the. Uh, email address changed and that the phone number changed and the phone number changed to one that looks like it comes from Nigeria. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's probably where the, well, it may or may not be where the scammer is. I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, they can get a phone number anywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking Instagram spam. Do not click the link. It will hack your account. Um, Gosh, that's terrible security. If that's if that's the case, there's a YouTube video on how this happens. She, and she didn't when she clicked the link. It didn't take her to an Instagram page and then say, um, "Log in." It just took it over. No. Wow, right. that's a honestly, that's a terrible flaw in Instagram. That should not be possible. Uh, I'm looking. I'm watching this YouTube video that says Instagram. Do not click the link. It will hack your account. It also has in that video how to fix it. So I'll put a link in the uh, show notes. But if you Google Instagram spam, do not click the link on YouTube. You'll be able to find that video. And I don't. Great. I'm just. Very helpful. I just found it. I don't know if it actually is useful, but I'm just. I'm just curious to understand how it happened. To be honest. So um, I was just looking for Instagram one-click hacks, and that's where I found that. So, uh, boy, that just really seems, to me, that seems like, it's boy. very scary. It, the flaws, for sure, in Instagram. If that's possible, it's terrible. And maybe it is. So what's the answer to this? Well, you be very careful about the links you click. Yeah. Um, anywhere. But I've, oh, I've educated her on that. Yeah. <laughs> Even though she's had conversation with this person, it, it was clear that what they've done is they... Uh, Scammers are very patient. They, you know, yeah. as, uh, th these guys will take their time. And, of course, they're not going to scam you until you have something of value. And so she built something of value. So now they've... Now they've as soon as you get over 10,000 views, I'm sure that you start getting these. I'm yeah. so sorry. Um, there is, a, in the Instagram Help Center, there is... A whole page. We just put a link in our show notes. I think my Instagram account has been hacked. What to do? And uh, and there's a lot of stuff you can do. Um, it may be that there is a third party app that she gave access to. She should, you know, once she gets it back, she should turn off all third party apps in her yeah. Instagram. Same for Twitter and Facebook. The the bad guys are out there. In fact, this has become, you know, the number one pastime in the world is gaming the system and I'm sad to say that's a problem. Yeah. I'm sorry it's happened to you Richard but I'm so yeah, welcome to the user group. <laughs> I, yes. I appreciate uh -huh. it. That's, and that's why I really appreciate all you do for us people out here that are still looking for user group
kind of support. Yeah, we just kind of have to do it for ourselves still, you know. Good luck getting help from Google or Instagram or Facebook because they're just yeah. so big. You know, well, we just have in, to do it for ourselves. Regard, is, what's the IRC chat room that I can... You can do it in the web browser. It's And they're very helpful, too. IRC dot twit dot tv okay that way i don't have to wait until the weekend to be able to <laughs> they're it. great yeah they're, they're that's the team tech guy pleasure talking yeah. to you richard thank you take care